Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I hope everybody are well. Today, I'm going to go back a little bit to the beginning of my videos, uh, episode number three, that I have showed you this plant, uh, which is known as Upper Kilikariae, the Kiriae. Uh, I have displayed many of these plants at that time that they did not have any leaves, which they were in dormant. Now the season is summer and the plant started sprouting. The leaves, as you see, this is a section of my garden that I have so many of this plant with a beautiful codex, as you see. They are very, very gorgeous plant. And they are technically are about to sprout lots of more leaves and also growing some seeds on them. As you see, I'm going to show you the larger plant of mine, which are very old, and they are having so many seed pots on it, which is right here, is a little bit far away from my reach, so I have to point it to you with this stick. Is right here, as you see right here, and they are technically sprouting so many seeds right here. So these are all the seeds that are going to be planted and growing a new batch of the plant. But my purpose in this video technically is to show you some of the most gorgeous body structure of this plant that I have displayed into the ceramic pot and I would like to show it to you. So here I want to show you a three years old seed plant and a five years old seed plant which is right here. But generally as I have said these are the seeds of our same tree and now they are sprouting very beautifully. So I'm going to remove this over here and then I continue to show you a very exotic pieces with a nice body structure. This is one of the very complex and exotic piece that I have designed it. I've been trimming what I did on this one to begin with, I cut the top. So when I cut the top, I train the plant to create an umbrella, as you see. So the body does have a shape of umbrella, and then the branches of the root are very complex so I washed it in one of the video. You see how I cleaned this one up. Refer to one of my videos that is talking how to uh, make your plant look like a bonsai. So this is the one I did on that, on that video. And this is another one that I created a shape of twisting. As you see, the body has been shaped and twisted. So I continue bringing this over here and do one more curve. This one is the centerpiece, which is a 
Again, I cut the top, which you probably see it right here. And I created the branches, but not exactly like umbrella, more look like a exotic shape. Some log longer, some shorter to give it a little bit of an accent of the beauty. So this is another one. This one is a beginner. You saw this in some of my videos. It's still yet to grow. So it's been trained so far and it's been cleaned very well. This one is very gorgeous piece. It's a multi codex and very complex codex so therefore has came out so beautiful it will cleaned washed and usually once a year as you see as I said on my video about cleaning the plant I wash them and I uh, spray them make them look beautiful. This one is in the oval part, has a different structure. So it's like a more unusual shape that I created an opening very much between the main root and one of the branches. I will do a lot of work on the top, but not yet until the time that I see the roots are doing well. This one is a multi-complex codex that Later on in the life of this plant, I will rise these two branches up and create opening between the ground, the soil and these branches. So also later on I will do a little bit trimming and make it look like an umbrella on the top. However, this was a few that I wanted to share with you. I hope you enjoyed this. So as I said, if you refer to previous videos, there are no leaves on this plant, but now they are giant. Meantime, I'm gonna show you one of these in the ground that has become so gorgeous. This one is one of the oldest one I have but it's not the oldest it's approximately about a foot on codex which is multi codex is about 12 inch on diameter and it's very solid and it's still continuous making branches on the root and continue going into the soil. And here I have another one that is very giant. It is in the ground. And this plant, when it gets a lot of sun, it becomes very gorgeous and it will seed better. What I have done on this, I created a shape like a bonsai but in a larger size. So therefore this is a main branch right here. And then this is another branch that is coming like this on a one side of the plant and another one goes opposite of this one. 
so technically it has pretty much three dimension it has very gorgeous growth and very beautiful body structure that when I done with it I've got to make a video for you to see however This was the ones that I wanted to share with you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please hit the button, subscribe to my channel, suggest my channel to others, and have your friends, relatives to subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment. And again, people has left me so many different encouraging compliment about my Alwadia crested. I greatly appreciate and one of my best followers has gave me a very good respected comment about Myrtilla Monstrosis Elite. Thank you all. Thank you so much. With your comment, I get energy. You have to remember I'm not a young man. I'm a very much older man. So uh, even though weather is very hot, but I love to share these things with you. I want you to get a hobby of getting involved with these plants. Thank you again. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like my channel.